Okay, here we have change of base logarithm. So the change of base uh, formula is when you have log of a base of an argument, you can change the base to a new base, any base you want, by taking log of the new base, or log with the new base of the old argument, and then log the new base of the old base, okay? Now there are two bases that you're gonna want to use strategically so that you can plug things into your calculator. And those two bases are the only two bases that we have on the calculator, which are the common log, base 10, and the LN, which is the natural log, which is base E. So those are really the two that you're gonna wanna use, okay? So for the first example, I applied the rule by first claiming what my new base log with the new base of the old argument, log with the new base of the old base, okay? Then because it says log base 10, that's just the common log. So you don't have to write the base 10. You can just write log of one third over log of the square root of four. And then when you plug that into your calculator, you end up with a value negative 1.585. Now, for the second example, I chose to use log base E, the natural number. So I got log base E with the one third, log base E with the six. Remember, argument goes on top, base goes on bottom. So old argument on top, old base on the bottom. And then log base E, we don't ever write that. We write the natural log instead, LN. So I stuck this expression in my calculator and I got this uh, decimal. Now, I wanted to point it out that the computer will take whether you use common base, the natural base, or any other base it will accept it as an answer. But later, you're gonna to wanna to type these things in the calculator and it's best to use either the base 10 or the LN. And I just did base 10 as well for this example, but you could see it doesn't matter. You will get the same value. So when I changed it to the natural log, I had um, the natural log of one third over the natural log of six and we got this negative 0.613. Then over here, I changed it to the base 10. So I have LOG of one third over LOG of six. And notice that it's the exact same number, okay? So for the calculator purposes, it does not matter whether you change it to LN or whether you change it to LOG. They'll both work and they'll both give you the same answer. What you can't do is have one base on the top, like LOG on the top, and then have base at the bottom like LN because this rule says that whatever base you use for the top you have to use the same base for the bottom okay so that either needs to be LN on top and LN on bottom or LOG on top and then LOG at the bottom okay now me particularly I like to make it obvious that I change the base so if I'm given LOG I always use LN because you just the letters changing um, signifies that I change the base right so, and I didn't ever write this step because L, we don't ever write log base E. So I know I'm gonna change it to base E, but I'll just write ln of the argument over ln of the base. And that's how you start to get into the rhythmic, the rhythm of it, doing it faster. So you just ln of the argument over ln of the base. Ln of the argument over ln of the base. Ln of the argument over ln of the base. That's how you change the base, okay? And it's going to be important on knowing how to do that so that you can type things in your calculator.